Tempering chocolate is actually just chemical engineering. It's also a pain in the butt. Chocolate has six potential structures. This one and this one are crumbly and kind of off-putting. These ones are okay, but get that weird bloom where the fat separates out from the rest of the chocolate. And this one takes four months to make. But this one is tempered chocolate, the bane of many an at-home baker's existence. If you're gonna make it, you need to melt chocolate up to about 116 degrees Fahrenheit to get rid of any existing crystal structures. Then you cool it down to about 80 degrees Fahrenheit to allow type five crystal structures to form. But then you have to heat it back up to 87.8 degrees Fahrenheit to get rid of any of the other crystal structures that might've accidentally formed in that process. But that way is not fun. I was sweating, it took me 45 minutes and it didn't work. So instead, you can heat your chocolate up and melt it and then seed it with already tempered chocolate. The seed chocolate is supposed to act like a template for the other chocolate molecules to crystallize around. This way is much easier and actually worked because chemistry. Now, if you let your tempered type five chocolate sit for four months, it can transition into type six. That one's pretty nice too, but who's letting their chocolate sit around for four months? 